What is up all of you awesome and amazing people on YouTube? The old coot here coming at you with another exciting video. This is the Fortum, right? Fortum rechargeable headlamp. What's cool about this is you have like four different modes. So if we look out into the wilderness, I'm going to shut the light off. So right now I just have this little lantern light going just to kind of see what I'm doing. But if we look out into the darkness here, so here's the Fordham. I'm going to go ahead and this is the on button and you switch through the modes this way. This is to turn the motion sensor on and off and I'll show you that in a second. But basically the first mode is this massive headband light that comes on. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that on. See it? Wow. <laughs> see how much brighter that is? And the distance, I would say like this close, you could probably see about maybe 10 to 12 feet or so. Beyond that, it's kind of, you're kind of just back into darkness. Then if you hit it again, uh, when I was going to go off, but let me hit it twice. So that's bright mode. That's less bright mode, but same thing. This head, the headband part is what's actually lighting up. Then what I'm going to do is I'm, I think I'm going to hit it again. It's going to shut off. Which it is okay now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna hit this uh three times i'm gonna turn on this mode which is an actual like flashlight flashlight so let's go ahead and turn that on so there's your bright mode there's your less bright mode and then there's your little you know spot directional so as you can see this actually goes pretty far that's about i'd say 30 feet from me right now right hitting up that yucca tree back there there's that there's that there's the tree you know if you need to see not as bright not as bright as it could be what's up jason red white and blue right there check out his channel too so then uh so here's this little spotlight flashlight thing okay then if i turn it off again so now i'm gonna go four times right so let's see if i get in cross traffic here <laughs> so here we go so there's one there's the headlamp two there's a headlamp less bright right then I've got this little spotlight bright, and then I got spotlight less bright. So the less bright mode is still pretty strong too. Obviously, you can still see that yucca back there getting some cross traffic. Sorry, uh, but let's go over here. Okay, so I just want to make sure everything's accurate. So there's that yucca back there again, not as bright as it was before, but you get the idea. There's up in the trees again, so you can still see, right? But obviously not as bright. But I mean, like this would be the mode that I would go if I was if I just wanted to spot like and not blast the whole you know entire campsite. Then what happens is if you hit this button right here, right now the motion sensor's on, it lets you know that. And the way it works is, let's see if I can do this with one hand. The way it works is when you wave your hand, it goes off. When you wave your hand again, it goes on. So see that? Wax on and wax off. So let's say, whoops, there we go, on and then off. So basically the way this works is, is let's say you're riding, right? And you're kind of in that twilight area of like, should I put the light on? Should I not put the light on? You can kind of wave your hand as you go without having to reach up and press the button and try to finagle with it and try to figure out where it is, right? There's your on button. There's your motion, motion sensor. So this way you don't actually have to like finesse and like, oh my God, where is it? And you have to take your hand off of like, you know, let's say you're riding a bicycle, right? Or whatever, or you're, you know, you're in a situation where you need both hands, you could just quickly wave your hand. Let's see if I can do this again, right? You could just quickly wave your hand and it'll come on, right? Whereas like, you know, think of like your hand was on a bicycle, like handlebar, Boop, you just wave it, it goes off, right? Somebody walks up to you, even at camp, like let's say you're at camp and you're like, oh my God, I gotta find that button, right? And you're at a campsite, you're backpacking. You could just easily like wave your hand, whoops, there it goes, it's on. And then somebody comes up to you, they wanna talk to you. It's like, oh wait, let me turn that light off real quick. The beauty is now it shuts off and you don't have to go back through all four modes, right? All four modes to get back to where you were. So you, you, you maintain the same, you know, the same position as what you were in. So let me shut the mode off. Whoops. Let me shut this off. Okay, now it's off. So let me turn the, the headlamp itself is like a flexible, what is this LED material? That's what it feels like to me. Uh, that's what it looks like. But this blue, this uh, neon green or yellow or whatever color. So now what happens is let me turn on let me turn on the 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 second bright headband mode. You're gonna get blinded here in a second. There's the bright bright mode. Here's the next brightest mode. So now what I'm gonna do is now I'm gonna use the wave motion, right? So somebody comes up, they wanna talk. Whoops. It's kind of like on the side. I'm kind of trying to do this with one hand. But oh whoops, I gotta turn it on. That's right. Okay, there you go. So on off button, here's the motion sensor part. So when that purple light goes on, now you know that it's on. So we're on, right? There it is. Now I'm going to wave. And there it goes on. And I'm right back to where I was before, right? Without having to cycle through all the modes again. Because if you shut the light off, you got to cycle through all the modes. So this way, 
it's off okay like you're talking to somebody at camp backpacking whatever and then now all of a sudden you know you want to go to the bathroom or you want to go traipsing off in the woods you can just whoop and turn it on you know something you also might want to think about i don't know if I don't know if you want to do this, but what you could do is you could always hang this light like up on a tree or something like when everybody's asleep. And if this thing goes off, right, if the lights come on, it's like kind of like an, a security alert system, right? You know if something is coming through campsite. But, you know, there again, you have to be careful because it's a very short, like if I try to do it over here, it's not going to work. But you have to be kind of close to it to get it to go. So the motion sensor is a very close right activating thing like if i move over here nothing's happening but if i get really close to it then it goes on and then it goes off so there you go well anyways if you do like what you're seeing <laughs> let me shut this off oh rechargeable so there's your rechargeable port right there this takes a usb c sorry about the focus and the blurriness and all that stuff let me see if i can get this open hard to do with one hand but basically Okay, basically you get the idea. When you open this up, there's a USB-C in there and that's how you go ahead and charge it. Sorry about the blurriness. I'm just, I'm in some really low lighty kind of conditions here, but here we go. There's a better shot as I use this lantern to light this one. But there is basically your on off button. There was your moisture sensor button, right? So when you turn it on and then you hit the motion sensor and then you wave, let's see if it goes off. Whoops, it was off there for a second. Uh, anyways, you get the idea, right? That's your purple lights on and then you wave again and then, you're, and then basically that's how you know that you're on see that and off so there you go strobe light disco floor anyways you get the idea let me see i'm going to try one, one more time and obviously i'm doing i'm trying to do this with one hand but if you're you know if you're i don't know what this part was here i think this is just a signal that this is the bottom part maybe like that's the bottom this is like so it's on the right side of you i guess you could always do it this way i don't know whatever but anyways let me see if i can open this one i'm gonna get one last shot ah almost there i feel like maybe i feel i can feel it it's just not that's what she said <laughs> anyways anyways you get the idea i'm not gonna struggle with this too much i'm out in the middle of the woods and it's freezing it's 50 degrees okay so anyways um links are down below this is the fordham headlamp they come in a one pack or a two pack uh i was trying desperately to get the other one to charge but i just didn't have time to charge this up before this trip i was going to show you both of them at the same time but anyways just one last view there you go there's pitch black darkness right my flash on my camera's off so here we go i'm just going to give you one more view of all four modes all at the same time so you can see that so there's one right pretty good there's the second mode right lighter there's the spot mode and there's the second uh less intense i guess spot mode so that's off right so off let's do this on camera so here's on less intense high intensity spotlight and then less intense spotlight and then off there you go anyways if you do like what you're seeing and you like this fordham headlamp i did put links there down there below in the description so make sure to check that out also make sure to hit the like button hit the subscribe button and i will catch you all in the next exciting video